All right, guys, going over low bar squat. This is a competition variation, definitely a main lift variation. Um, this is what I used to compete. So there are some differences between the front rack, you know, the high bar position, and the low bar. As you move on a horizontal plane, which we'll go over in a minute, then uh, it becomes, you have to sit further back in the squat. It becomes more and more hip dominant as the bar moves down the back. So with the low bar position, you're loading the hips the most. It's the most hip dominant type of squat. And for me, that's good. For people with longer spines, generally that's good if you can stay upright. I know a lot of guys are familiar with Lane Norton. He's, his form's been criticized. His form's not bad. It's just that type of squatting with the build he has, he, his, he does have to fold a little bit in the squat. That being said, you do want to focus on keeping the chest up in a low bar position. So first thing I want to go over is if you're above about 180, 190, it's very possible you might have shoulder tightness and getting in the position with the hands that's gonna best suit you. If you're way, way, way out wide, like some of these big super heavyweight guys that use gear and everything, then uh, it, you're probably not using your back to the fullest. I know Ed Cohn's got a popular cue, pulling the bar into the back. I think that's exactly right. I think it helps a lot to stay tight. So you do wanna loosen up the pec. Pec minor actually starts at the sternum, comes all the way over to the top of the humerus. It, it kinda of is the reason for a lot of shoulder tightness sometimes. So at the 90 degrees, that's where you wanna stretch the pec minor. I would go 30 seconds right here. Something else that could help would be a lat stretch. Stretching the lat muscle out. A forearm stretch would help. And sometimes just putting weight on the bar and forcing your elbows forward can be a good enough stretch. But where you don't want to be is the elbows hiked way up. I'll show you that improper position right now. I look at the position my chest and my spine and my core is in. Not where you want to be. Drive this back, pull back. You want to treat the low bar position like it's a high bar position. I'm gonna say that again. Try to treat your low bar position like it's a high bar position. I want your chest to be up. You want to stay as upright as possible. Yes, you will fold naturally, but yes, you should focus on your chest being upright, okay? So first motion on any squat, push the hips back, knees out, break parallel, push straight up and back into the bar. This is a more glute hamstring dominant move as opposed to a quad dominant. High bar and front rack is going to be a little more quads. Again, as the bar travels down that horizontal plane, like on the board, you will move to a more hip dominant type squat. So this is your guy right here. You can notice on each diagram, the bar moves on the horizontal plane, it loads differently. So this one for longer spine lifters, if your back is an issue, if your back strength is an issue, this is probably the variation you want to use. Um, that's really about it for the high bar, or the low bar, sorry. Guys, message with any, any questions you have, comment with any questions, let me know. There's your low bar position.